Hello, it's me, Confrontation. You gonna deal with me already? Because if you keep putting me off, uh, you know, the situation's just gonna get worse. Yes, they have the couch I've been wanting. It looks cranny. Buying it. Ah, <sighs> you do this every time. I'm really tired of coming back to you trying to force you to deal with me. It'll really make your life that much happier. Don't you want to be happy? <sighs> do I hear something? So weird because I have my headphones on, but I could swear I hear something. <laughs> okay, that really kind of hurts my feelings every time you say that. It really makes me feel like I'm very insignificant to you. Anyway, can you just deal with me already? I'm really sick of coming here. I'm gonna have to start tapping on your shoulder to get your attention now. Deal with your confrontation. It's so weird. It almost feels like someone is tapping me on the shoulder, but no one's here. Ugh, it must be the ghosts in my apartment. No big deal. Hi, ghosts. Okay, this one might be crazy. Hello, lovely humans. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. And today, we are going to be talking about a topic that makes many of us feel very, very uncomfortable. And that topic is confrontation. I mean, unless you are someone who actually likes confrontation, we all know people like those exist in the world. But most of us, I think, don't like talking to someone about something uncomfortable or getting into arguments because it makes us feel nervous, scared, and just plain out of place. So today I want to explain why confrontation can actually be a good thing and a healthy thing. A crazy concept, right? But trust me, lovely humans, it's actually true if you approach it and go about it in the right way. Also, just a word of advice, if you are looking for an amazing pumpkin spice tea to keep you warm this winter, I am drinking this pumpkin spice Ruibos? I don't know how to say it. It's like, it's spelled R-O-O-I-B-O-S, so pumpkin spice Ruibos tea from Trader Joe's. Um, it is literally delicious. It has like cinnamon and cloves in it and it's really good and keeps you nice and warm for winter. Just a suggestion. Okay, moving on. Confrontation is and always will be uncomfortable. It's just hard to go up Confrontation is and always will be uncomfortable. It's just hard to have to talk to someone about something when they're in disagreement with you because emotions are going to be heightened, anger may flare up, and we don't like to be in these situations. So many times we like to avoid it altogether. But this is super unhealthy, lovely humans, because the more you avoid something, the bigger the problem is going to get. Think of any time you had to confront someone about something and you were so scared and so afraid that you kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. I have been guilty of doing that. When the time finally comes when you have to confront that person, and trust me, the time will come, because confrontation doesn't just disappear. I kind of wish it would, but it kind of just doesn't. Um, the situation actually gets 10 times worse than it would have been if you nipped it in the butt right at the beginning. So that is why when we do have to confront someone about something uncomfortable, we have to try to put our fears aside and tell ourselves, okay, confronting this person right now is the best thing I could do because it will make the situation resolve in the easiest way possible. Because those hidden feelings aren't going to keep building and building and building and it's not going to get more and more and more tense. However, that doesn't really change the fact that confrontation is going to suck no matter what. I remember when I used to be so afraid to stand up for myself and confront people that I would have full-blown panic attacks about it. And I would think, okay, maybe it's best to just kind of let this go and sweep it under the rug. But really lovely humans at the end of the day, people respect you more for confronting them. It might not seem it in the moment, especially when tempers are heightened, but ultimately they really, really do. So remember, fight your fears, put them aside, and realize that confrontation is best to be dealt with right away. And the uncomfortable feeling is fleeting. It's only temporary, it's going to go away, and you will get through it. Confrontation is not something that's going to kill you, lovely humans. Another fact about confrontation that I do want to touch upon is the fact that sometimes during a confrontational argument or discussion, we tend to start getting angry and defending ourselves. Now, when you constantly wanna defend your point of view, instead of being open-minded and trying to listen to what the other person is saying in a logical sense, it kind of turns into a little bit of a war and not a war that ever gets resolved. Yeah, so anyway, in conclusion, this is why I'm right and you're wrong. <laughs> that was a hilarious joke. No, I'm right and you're wrong. Actually, I'm right and you're wrong wrong. I'm right and you're wrong wrong wrong. I'm 
right and you're so wrong that you don't even know what wrong is that's how wrong you are <laughs> you're so wrong that you fell in a river called the wrong river which brought you all the way to a land called the land of the wrong filled with people who are always wrong and your sweater's ugly <sighs> my grandma made me this sweater makes sense that your grandma made it you look like a grandma well you look like you just rolled out of bed what do you get that t-shirt when you were 11 boyfriend on our first music festival date ever. I hate you. I hate you more. I'm sure you guys have seen conversations like this on Facebook. <laughs> um, for one, Twitter. Um, celebrities even get in arguments like this. The back and forth just gets worse and worse and worse to the point where you're not even saying anything that makes sense. You don't even know what you're fighting for anymore. And what does that really lead to? Does it lead to the initial issue ever being resolved? Not really. It just leads to harsh words, bad feelings, insults, and both people just feel worse about themselves and each other at the end. So how do we avoid this? No matter how angry you are, no matter how heightened your emotions are about whatever you need to confront someone about, realize this, you need to try to see their point of view. So here are the steps on how to do this. Step one, push your fears aside and deal with the confrontation right away. Step two, realize that you need to have an open mind. I know this is hard when we're angry because when we're angry, we don't want to have an open mind. We want to be right. We want to win. It's human nature. But I have found that every conflict I've been in, every time I've had to confront someone, realizing that, you know, they have their own side of the story too and that I need to be sensitive to how they're feeling has always made the situation end more peacefully. So realize you need to hear what the other person's saying and give them a chance to explain how they feel. And finally, my last tip for dealing with a confrontational situation and making it end in a more peaceful way is to be logical. Don't think of it as a fight. Don't think of it as, I am pissed off about this and I wanted to talk to you about this so I'm gonna yell in your face, no. Think of it as, okay, we're just gonna talk about something and work it out as two human beings so that we can continue this relationship in a peaceful way. Even if it's not someone you're close to, just realize you are going to work out this problem so you can both move on and kind of ah, sigh and be at peace. Cause that's all we really want, right lovely humans? Peace and happiness. So that is my advice for this week on Kelly True Thoughts for dealing with confrontation. And remember lovely humans, you'll get through your confrontational situation. It's only temporary, you will move through it and you'll feel so much better when you do. Please comment below and let me know what you want me to talk about next Wednesday on Kelly True Thoughts. Bye lovely humans.